Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Monster Bring you guys another video. In today's video, we're riding the Tao Tao 140cc. We're taking it back to the trails where we used to, and where I'm showing you guys a little secret spot that I like to go when I'm on my lunch break. A lot of you guys ask what I do for my full-time job, and I'll cover that soon in one of these next videos. But for now, I want to take you guys to where I go during my lunch breaks, and sometimes I go hang out uh, just normally after class or before class, during class, something like that. It's a lot relaxing. It's still social distancing so I keep myself away from everybody but it's a nice view it's a nice area you guys are definitely gonna enjoy the view but guys if you please can give this video a thumbs up the last video didn't do the best and I know it's because it wasn't a dirt bike video or a Chinese bike video. so if you can give this video a fat thumbs up let's break 200 likes on this video that would be insane and if you guys are not subscribed to the channel I know a lot of you are because my statistics show that 90% of the viewers watching these videos are not subscribed guys we are bringing a Chinese bike videos all year round long so guys if you want to see videos if you're gonna get a Chinese bike if you're gonna get into dirt biking in general subscribe to this channel and I'll be bringing you guys videos that will help you out and help you learn on what bikes to buy and what not to buy and what you need to do to maintain these Chinese bikes I've had mine for over a year now so I still have mine running good uh, my roommates they didn't really take care of theirs so theirs is kind of broken but guess what guys the parts have came in for the RFZ, so we're gonna get the RFZ working. Uh, the carburetor came in, the clutch line came in, and the new grips came in on the handlebars. So the bike is hopefully, hopefully after we install these things, the bike's gonna be running and it's gonna be nice. And then after that, I'm gonna have to do an oil change on both the bikes. And then hopefully they'll both be good to go, except for the uh, coerce, the Tao Tao, I need to get a clutch and brake line, which I've been, I've or lever, I've been sleeping on those because it, it, it's a cheap mod. I don't know why I haven't bought it. I was just like, I don't really need it, but I, I gotta get it. So I'm gonna get that very, very soon and install those. But guys, stay tuned for that video. For now, let's go ride. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion bring you guys another video. In today's video, as you guys can tell, we're riding our dirt bikes. It's kind of really windy out. It's nice out. Um, but I wanted to bring you guys this video because I haven't rode my bike in forever. And I think I need gas. Definitely think I'm going to need to get gas. do this let's go get gas now the reason we're getting gas is because I don't I have class right now and I have to be back at a certain time and I'm not trying to risk having my bike die while I'm out in the woods and stuff um, yeah my classes are online but we have a test today and I have to be back at a certain time so I want to make sure that my bike doesn't die out in the woods and I'm stuck. But this is what we do during our lunch break, man. Uh, for work, for school, if I'm doing either. During my lunch break, if they extend our lunch break and stuff, I'll try to do stuff like this. I just feel like my bike needs gas because it's been bogging a lot. And it sucks coming this way because this is hot. This is very hot boy coming out here. Filling up my gas right next to the main highway. Especially since Cops have been looking for dirt bike riders recently. So I'm going to try to do this as discreet as possible. Oh, you can probably see it on camera now. You can see that uh, the wrap is smoking on my uh, exhaust wrap. Oh, crap. There's a cop right there. Hopefully the cop didn't look this way. Oh, I'm getting gas everywhere. Everywhere. My bike's gonna smell like gas for like six days now. Ugh. All right. There's no other way of me getting across this but doing it this way. Could have made a U-turn right there. on the road now like I was saying like, there's been people riding my friends have been telling me I saw it yesterday happen in my own eyes you guys can actually see it in the video tomorrow or the next video that we upload a 
guy was doing wheelies across the intersection and uh, apparently he was out riding. A lot of my friends were texting me telling me, yo, did you see that red, that red dirt bike, that red dirt bike? Because he was doing wheelies all up and down the roads, all over where I live. And then my other friend told me that cops were like driving through the neighborhoods looking for this guy. So this was just yesterday. So today, I wouldn't doubt that cops are out here still looking for the guy, expecting him to be out riding. Um, and it's in the neighborhood that I that I uh, live. So. comes by and as you guys can see I'm clutchless shifting I think I'm in fourth yeah I'm in fourth Woo, but it feels so good outside right now and it feels so good to be riding this bike is so much slower compared to like my motorcycle but it does feel good to be out riding man and I'm gonna show you guys what I do on lunch breaks and how you're supposed to do it during quarantine. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna be with a few friends, but uh, that's one thing I shouldn't be doing. But, but even coming out here to study by myself is still a pretty good thing. I don't know what this Verizon car's been doing. It keeps doing the same thing. But clutchless shifting, you ready? You can see my clutch is like bent. There's no, I mean, I can do it from first gear. A lot of you guys ask. I'll set it up like this, and it works. I can pull it, get out of first gear, start going and stuff um, without a bump start or anything like that, without a moving start. This is one of the only ways I can do it. But you guys probably remember this route. If you're OGs, not even OGs, but if you guys tuned into the channel last year, you guys know about this, this route where we're going. Um, Towards the river area this is where I like to ride just because it doesn't bother anyone so if a cop comes out here I mean I'll just tell him like bro we're out we're not even on the main roads we're out being safe making sure we're not doing anything dumb uh, but yeah a lot of you guys ask questions like yo how, how are you able to ride your dirt bike guys keep in mind a lot of these YouTubers that are riding their dirt bikes out on the public streets, they're one, doing it illegally, or two, they have their bike registered with the DMV, which means it's, it's a vehicle. Uh, you have to have a lot of, you have to get it inspected. You have to have an inspection sticker and stuff like that for most states. Uh, so that way you're just, and, and the inspection is what determines if you have turn signals, if you have mirrors, if you have street legal tires, if you have street legal brakes, other things like that. That will determine if your bike's street legal or not. So when you see those dirt bikes that don't have treads in the tire and it's just like a normal tire, like a bike tire, those are street legal dirt bikes. Oh look, it's another biker. What's up biker? him up looks like he got a slow 25 cc bike this is this is nice this this is much needed man when you're quarantined all day you're in the house all day you're doing school you're 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 i have school literally nine to four so all morning i'm busy and then by the time it's four o'clock i gotta clean the house i gotta feed the dogs i gotta take care of house things i gotta eat and then there's no time it's already dark and i can't do anything so that's why we don't do daily uploads because I'm kind of busy. It's, this isn't my full-time job, YouTube. Uh, this is just a hobby I like doing, I enjoy doing, and I want to bring content to you guys of these Chinese dirt bikes and stuff. And I'm not going to dog my bike. I'm not going to go full speed, full throttle just because it does backfire. Like you guys heard at the gas station, it does backfire right after I turn it off, which means there's a lot of compression in it. I'm not sure what it is if I have to get a new exhaust and like this exhaust that I have now isn't like releasing enough. Oh, it's a red light. Oh, they put a stop sign here. Wow, they've changed this. This used to be the dirt, the dirt course that we would come to. But they're building houses out here, so 
pretty soon man it's gonna be even illegal to ride out here which sucks sucks big time but by then hopefully I'll be good enough where I can go go to friends houses that have land uh, other things like that but yeah a lot of you ask how do you clutch with shift how do you shift without using the clutch so for downshifting um, Sometimes you can rev it up and then downshift, but you don't want to be going too fast. Like right now I'm slowing down, you can hear the engine dying down, and I just push down. And you'll hear it pick up again, pick up again. So that's all you have to do. Now, I don't know where my friends are. I think they're back here. Actually, you know what? Let me find out. Let me find out where they are. All right, it looks like they're in the good, the good spot that we always go fishing at nice relaxing spot I'm glad they're over there it's a little bit more segregated from these shops over here and stuff so yeah this is what I do so to get out of first gear I'll fix this turn it around pull it up shift to first and just use it like a normal clutch and then from there I won't use it I'll rev the bike up to a certain RPMs let go of the gas shift up and then gas it again so for instance just like that you can hear when I let go of the gas and when I upshift so you can hear the bike but this is where we usually go I want to see if they're back here I have no clue if this is the route they took or what way too much water. I don't think they would have taken this route. Oh yeah, there's trucks right there. Cool, they took this route. So you'll hear my bike backfire. I'll turn it off so you guys can hear it. Alright, ready? Oh, I didn't do it that time. Cool. Take the key out so nobody comes up and steals my bike from me. And I'm good to go. Now I can go study, chill by the water, man. This is this is where it's at. Hang out by the water, open my book, have my computer, have my cell data using it for Wi-Fi. Um, and I could just hang out. There's a nice little house up here that people like. I'm not sure if people hang out. We've never seen people here. But it's where I'm going to hang out. They're fishing and stuff. I'll probably end up just studying, uh, preparing for the test that I have to take today. Hang out with them, just bull crap around a little bit. But yeah, man, it's it's scary out there riding right now because cops are definitely looking for people. Um, so if I get, I, I've seen people arrested around where I live, getting cuffed. Not sure if they got arrested, but getting handcuffed, getting their bikes taken from the cops, cops taking it to the county and selling it that way. So you basically get your bike repoed if you're riding it out in the streets. And that's why I tell you guys, be careful. Don't do it unless you have like land and stuff to ride. Or it depends on what state you live in. Some states have different legal codes that allow you to. Some states are not as strict. But the reason our state's getting more strict is because so many people are doing it. But yeah, I had to bring you guys a riding video, man. I mean, who would I be to not bring a riding video? It's been too long. Yeah, I did it on the Kawasaki, but I know a lot of people want to see the Chinese bikes. Hopefully the sun doesn't burn me too much. Oh, they built nice stairs. What's up? <laughs> Yo, they made this place nice. There's a lot of them? Oh, no, nah, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I struggled last time getting up. <laughs> Where? Behind me? What are you doing up here? You don't know how to fish. What's the bait look like? It's not real worms? Oh, these things? These green things? That's the bait? These green things? Huh? Oh, yeah. 
I'm scared to jump up here. Can you save me if I'm falling? Yeah. I bet. <laughs> yeah, you might want to watch out. I'm going I'm to jump. If I see you fall, I'm going to try to throw the hook at you. Ow! I made it. Woo! So nice, man. And then the roof caves in. It feels soft like it's going to cave in. No, it's not. Yeah, it is right here. My brother's coming. So he said he was. He was like, I'm about to come. Oh, it's so nice. Right, Kobe, oh my GoPro messed up. Oh, there we go. Now you guys can see how nice it is. But yeah, I'm gonna just sit up here, chill, have my laptop out, study and whatnot. So I'll see you guys once I'm done with this. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Holy crap, it's highly exposed in here. But thank you for tuning into the channel. I appreciate all the love, all the support on the videos. If you please can, on the last Kawasaki video we did, we didn't break that many likes. So if you can, smash the like button on this video if you like the Chinese bike videos. And with that being said, I think the next video, guess what? The parts have arrived. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the parts have arrived. So I will be putting those in the RFZ and seeing if we can get that bike to work. And I also bought new grips for the bike so it's gonna look a little bit better but guys with that being said give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to see more Chinese bike videos I'll see you guys in the next one peace